of thing. The internet is where it's at. The funding model won't be there forever for mainstream um, journalism for many forms, and that's why I came to Birmingham. Okay, so that wraps it up. Thank you very much. Okay, any other pieces of audio to listen to? No, I was there really. Just yes. that. Okay. Um, I, th I mean, I think we've covered most of the points about about that particular audio, and, and probably the, the key theme running throughout that is is about preparation and and uh, and anticipation, um, and partly about sometimes quite often research, um, not only researching a subject but the people, and um, and and I'd I'd be looking at trying to bring in extra material or extra people, so maybe pre-record something and see if you can include that in and, and, and start from the, the basis of the discussion and see if you can start to expand that into something like a more traditional podcast program. Um, so I'd like to have a go at proper podcast. I mean, I've made podcasts from radio shows I've done because yeah. you had to cut out all the music. Yeah. But now they tend to have automated systems where you fade down from the microphones and it cuts off the podcast recording. Yeah. So now at the end of programmes they can just automatically upload the podcast. Yeah. So there's none of that editing yeah. malarkey. But the enhanced ones are quite when we did the sport um, radio show, we did an enhanced podcast which mm. had photographs mm. that illustrated so when you're watching it on an iPod they came up with yeah. the photographs yeah. from the guests and things yeah. like that, which was quite good. Yeah. But I've always wanted to do something like that answer me this type thing. You yeah. know, a bit light-hearted, discussion yeah. type one. Yeah. But that's what I'd like to have a go at. And I think that takes time. And I, I think that's mm. the other thing with this, is to, is to keep doing it again and again and again. And, and, yeah. it's, and, it, and it does take time, but then the investment of that time does produce a kind of a natural mm. um, quality that, that really works. Um, okay, so what I'm going to do is... I'm, Let's move on to video then, um, and um, like I said, I'll, I'll record this on audio view as well, um, so, so it's uh, heavy stuff on audio copy. Um, I'm going to talk about three themes, I'm gonna, uh, which are kind of similar to what I did with audio. I'm going to talk about the genre of online video, um, I'm going to talk about narrative, which is, in other words, the kind of structure of online video and um, and some of the technology that, that's available and the possibilities and, and you've already been exploring some of that with VU, VU. Um, by next week you should be able to know when to use video and what type to use you should be able to produce it and you should be able to publish and distribute it so you've got the basic technical skills and then the, the editorial skills should build on that and should lead that and I want to begin by showing you um, a, one of my favourite examples of online video, which is a, a really good demonstration of, of how the medium can do different things to traditional video. Have any of you seen this?
Yeah. <laughs> <Monitoring, laughs> Who's monitoring those cameras? Well, yeah, I yeah. just <laughs> left them there. Clearly, no one was monitoring the cameras. Um, it's like The Sims, where you put walls round a sim and <laughs> just leave them. <laughs> um, that, so, that was trapped in an elevator for 41 hours. The reason I show that video is because I think it just sums up perfectly all kinds of things about online video and about video in general. Um, you know, the story is man survives uh, being trapped in an elevator for 40, 41 hours, or man, man is trapped in an elevator for 41 hours. You can imagine the text treatment of that if you're a newspaper reporter. It wouldn't have had the same impact as that. Uh, but even as a broadcast journalist, most broadcast journalists wouldn't have done that, and you certainly wouldn't um, head the the kind of lunchtime news of a three minute video from four CCTV cameras. You would have done, here's an interview with the man, here's an interview with the building owner, um, you might do some stuff about previous similar incidents, and it would be pretty formulaic. And there's very good reasons for that. Broadcast journalism is, has evolved all kinds of practices um, for various reasons to do with the institutions and the medium. But online video is not broadcast video. And what this, what this demonstrates is, is all kinds of things about that difference. Um, first of all, it's the raw nature of the footage. So there is no intermediary here, intermediary here. There is no journalist telling you what the story is. It's, it's a very simple story. You know, it is summed up by, um, by the title. It's summed up by seven words, trapped in an elevator for 41 hours. Um, and it's the, it's the rawness of that material that, that makes it interesting, that makes it much more than a text story or even a broadcast kind of, kind of treatment. Um, so there's the raw nature of it. Um, the music is an interesting choice, which is, which is something else to discuss. But there's another editorial choice which I think is, is worth noting, and that is, I just uh, skip forward. What's the key editorial choice here? Apart from someone actually having the nose to think, there must be security footage of this guy being trapped for 41 hours, which you wouldn't have necessarily thought of as a journalist. But what's the other key editorial choice here? Having all four cameras. Yeah. Hmm. They've chosen to have four, a split screen with four cameras, only one of which is on the man in an elevator. And that's a really interesting choice because... Um, well, you tell me, why, why do you think they've done that? Because it shows that things are going on elsewhere, uh, just not in the lift that he's, he's trapped in. Yeah. So people are around, it's not like the, the building's shut down. Mm. There are people around, there are people active, and it's only his lift that he's getting no attention whatsoever. Yeah. And the alternative, if, if, if it was just him for you know four hours compressed to three minutes, um, it it would have had a very different impact mm. and, um, and, and I, I would have said not as strong either. Mm. There's another key editorial choice which you might not have spotted. Which is to do with the editing of them. Speed? Yeah. What about the speed? That it's sped up. Yeah. There's more to it than that. So it's a continuous it's 40 hours of footage, it's continuous, but um, there's, they've done more with it. So they've not cut it, mm. but they have done something to it, editorially. Maybe, w w I don't know, but maybe when there are changes in action, uh, they uh, do it slower? Yeah, well, put it this way, the first minute, a third of this, is, is the first hour. Um, okay? Alright, so we sped it up. It yeah, a on. after mm -hmm. the first hour, mm -hmm. it speeds up considerably. Um, so it's like Moulin Rouge in reverse. <laughs> <laughs> which starts yeah. off very hectic and slows to a deadly pace at the end. Yeah. So I think you've got ten mm -hmm. hours in the next twenty seconds. Um, 
another 10 hours in another 10, 20 seconds, so it may be that, that the speed is pretty consistent here. Uh, 31. Actually, the, the 10 hours after that take about 40 seconds. Is that supposed to show the rise in panic as it gets further along that you're trapped? I don't know. Um, is, it, is it a simple answer? I think. Um, to hide the fact he's must have gone to the toilet at some point. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just seeing to 30 hours, that's 221, 40 hours is. So the, the first hour gets the largest amount of time. The, ne the next 20 hours um, get, uh, get almost as much as, as the first hour. And then the final, uh, the, the, the third, uh, 20 to 30 hours is longer again. It's twice as long. as So, so it's almost compressed in the middle. Mm. So the, there's, there's a middle kind of 20 hours, which is quite compressed. And then towards the end, you know, and, and, I, and I think also there's more happening because in, the, in that initial, in that 20 hour period, that will be overnight. So there's that to consider. So I, I, think, I think whenever you come to do an online video, have this video in mind and think all kinds of questions. Is there a security footage? Is there a raw footage that will put the viewer directly in, in contact with this story without me being in the middle of it? Um, I think I'd have been tempted to put a big, like, 24 style clock. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Zoom in at the different windows. Well, there's, there's all kinds of considerations about how you treat it. Do you do that? Do you um, uh, do you put music on top? Which is which is a whole uh, it's a whole debate about whether you do that. You know, do your slideshows and video and so on. Um, there's another example which I don't know. To sh I won't show you because you might start crying. <laughs> um, but um, you know the, the NADA video from uh, the uh, Iranian protests? Oh, yes. Yeah, the, this is protests are dying. Um, what's really interesting about that footage is you can. It, I've got. There's two videos of this which are on the bookmarks for this week, I think. Um, or you, if you look at my bookmarks for NADA, I think it'll be there. Um, is it NADA or NADA? I can never remember. But um, um, I've got these two pieces of footage. One is the original. One is, I think, CBS News. And CBS News play the original in full. So in terms of the actual content, there's, there's nothing different. It's not edited. But the CBS News version, because there's a journalist there, because they replay it in slow motion, in black and white, and they kind of do it again and again. Strangely, by, by kind of sensationalising it, it actually lacked the impact of the original, simple, straightforward video with no journalist telling you how shocking this is, with no slow motion replays, with no black and white treatment. It's actually more effective. And, um, you know, again, this kind of sums up the, the, the nature of online video, which is that this is very different from broadcast video on television. This is a lean forward medium. It's not something you sit back and watch at a distance uh, in your lounge while you're doing other things. It's something that most people watch at their desk, sometimes on mobile phones, but invariably they are actively engaged with it. It's very difficult to have a video on it in the, in the background on your, on your computer. Um, the other quality of online video is that it is portable and it's, it's time shifted. So you, it's not appointment television. It's not something that comes on at 10 o'clock every night um, and you have to be physically in your living room to see it. That has all sorts of implications. One of the reasons that that 41 hours in an elevator video wouldn't be done for broadcast news is because of the for restrictions of format. Um, and broadcast news has evolved in a, in a very particular way. In fact, I'll show you the... Have you seen the Charlie Brooker... Um, Hi. <laughs> yeah, how to do <laughs> broadcast TV. Have you seen this, person? I've not seen it. Right, I'll, I'll put that on now. Hold on. Um, 